Hey everyone, Smart Home Dad here. I have started this YouTube channel so that I can show you my passion for smart home uh, and all of the great things and automations and efficiencies that I'm gaining and putting into my house. There are a lot of great YouTube channels out there and I hope that I can provide one that gives you fast content, easy to understand and digest content that helps you do the same thing in your home great projects that I've done that I think you can get a lot out of and also a focus on some of the products that I have used and have had a lot of success with including great product reviews for stuff that I'm using in my home I hope that you can get a lot out of this channel and one of those really awesome products is making dumb light switches dumb lights smart with the incredible Wemo light switch. So a few things to consider if you're going to look at a product like the Wemo smart light switch is that there are a couple of different options uh, but across the board for the most part these smart light switches do require neutral wires and they generally have to sync on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band which is a little bit difficult especially for a family like us where we have actually implemented a mesh Wi-Fi system now if you meet that criteria all you need to do is determine whether or not you need a single pole regular light switch or if you need a three-way light switch or in some cases you might need a dimmer switch all of which you can get through Wemo Depending on your setup at home, Wemo has a few options. For a single pole light switch, you can get it for about $40, the three-way version for about $50, and the dimmer version for about $60. Now you'll notice throughout the video a couple different face plates. Uh, the one here is the Wemo plate that comes in the box, but you can also get the Lutron uh, double gain plate that fits the Wemo lights, as you can see here as well. Wemo light switches work on all platforms, Apple HomeKit, Google, Amazon. It has an incredible dedicated app that also has scheduling and away mode setup, uh, which is really great if you want your house to continue to blink lights randomly. Um, the other really important things to keep in mind with Wemo, you must have Wi-Fi of course, Android 6.0 or higher, iOS 11.0 or higher, and a neutral wire, so homes that are built before the 80s or remodeled before the 80s, you may have trouble with that. Uh, the only other concern and thing to continue to remember is that Wemo syncs on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. That is extremely important to remember, otherwise you will have to go through a couple of different methods to try and figure out how to sync up your devices. We had to install them in different locations in our house, unplug our Orbi mesh Wi-Fi system just so that we could actually get it to sync up. Now an alternative to the smart light switch would be something like a Lutron motion sensor switch as you can see here. We've installed these everywhere in our house, all the bathrooms, uh, our laundry room as well. This is a great alternative if you're not ready to take that next step forward or if the cost is a little bit too much from a smart home light switch perspective. Now that about does it in terms of Wemo smart light switches. Uh, lots of great options, lots of really great cool automations and stuff you can do with the dedicated app or within Apple HomeKit or Google or Alexa. Check it out if you're interested, Wemo.com. And if you like what you've seen today, take some time to maybe subscribe, like this video, uh, ask me anything that you may have a question about, about Wemo or my smart home. And other than that, guys, thank you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.